even birds use a little bit of that method. So what we will need is, I'm going to use two Phoenix Storms plates like this for the body. All we do is, um, we ball socket the top two corners. So it, it's like a door hinge. And then you can see that. And then we'll need the fin. I'm going to go to transportation props and then use this fin over here. We're going to use two of them. So just weld the two together to make one fish fin. See that? Now position this fin to the back of the body about here and then just ball socket over there to there like so. I'm going to click on there and then click over here and now the fin can also move. Now just so it doesn't catch on anything no collide the fin with everything and you can see it moves pretty nicely. Now what we'll need um, is four cinder blocks. There's cinder blocks. Now easy weld or just weld them one over there and one over here. They they should actually be pretty precise because we're going to use them as fins as well to keep the fish straight. But uh, it's no big big deal. So you can see I've welded the four cinder blocks to the middle of the um, parts like that. And then what we'll need for looks and to help it swim is we're just going to easy weld a triangular piece to the front here. So you can see there's a fish type thing there. And to face exactly backwards like so and then attach elastics the elastic settings that I use uh, you can see I put the elastics on the back of the bottom fin to the tip of the cinder block there and to the tip of the cinder block there those act as sinews in the fish and the elastic settings are, my constant is 15,000 the damping, first damping is 200 relative damping is 30, so you want it really damped and I haven't applied fin tool yet, but you can see that it sort of keeps the fin almost just behind the back body part so I'm going to apply fin tool now put the efficiency not on a hundred and create lift by Benroli effect because you also need to create lift that helps it push forward and use flat surface dynamics so just click on both fins and you'll see we have that perfect action that I try to show you there now you can see the finish push sideways and if you can imagine that it's pushing the air backwards and it wants to go forward now But I'm not going to stand there with a fizz gun the whole time, swishing this thing forwards and backwards like that. So we're just going to apply a muscle. Now of course you can make all of these invisible so it looks better, but just to show you I'm not going to do it. My additional length I'm going to put to about 30 at first. We're, we're going to tune in the fish later. And then the width I'll put on 1 so you can see it. And then the speed, we're not going to put that fast, we're going to put it at about 1.6 remember to pull in the body part to where the fin is going to stop on its um, s let's call it side stroke because you can see the fins going to there then to there then to there so you have to apply the muscle when it's uh, in this position so let's just quickly apply muscle just apply a whole lot of them make sure it's strong enough you 
Now you can see I've applied my muscle, but um, it's pushing it too far that way, and it's not really on time with the fin at the back. So I'm just quickly going to adjust it, see where it's it's optimum. And you can see I've attached more muscles, and we're getting a, a very nice swish of the tail. You can see it being corrected by the elastics, so it so it's like a tendons holding it in place and that's exactly the action we want from it and here I've decorated the fish a bit and to keep it floating you put barrels at the top now I make them invisible but uh, I'll quickly show you the weight of the following so just go to the weight tool the front is 100 so the metal plates are unchanged the bricks are unchanged but the fins at the back are changed to 10 only 10 otherwise it's too strong and it, you can't move the fish the and you can see each barrel is just um, welded to a different body part you can see it moves with it like that when I go to the bottom you can see it gives that same swishing action you can see I've put it in the water and the fin tool comes alive and it pushes it forward and there you have a working swimming fish now just experiment around with this thing if you can't get it to work just play around you will get it to work eventually and it's much more fun because then you sort of did it on your own and nobody showed you exactly how to do it so I just showed you the principle of how it works and why it works.